Since I published these videos where we built various applications using Ader and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, many of you have asked for information on the cost of using these technologies. So in this video, we're going to review what it costs me to use Ader and Claude 3.5 to build those apps. Then we'll use those costs as a basis to do some projections to give you an idea of what it might cost you to use these technologies on a regular basis. All right, let's start by taking a look at the cost for building the RAG app. My beginning balance with Anthropic was $12.18 before I used Ader to build the app. After building the app, my balance was $11.88 for a grand total of 30 cents to have Ader build the RAG app. Now, just in case you're interested, the number of lines of code generated by Ader between Python and Markdown was roughly 230 lines of code for the RAG app. Let's talk a little bit about how these costs are calculated. So here we see the cost for Claude 3.5 Sonnet at $3 per million tokens input and $15 per million tokens output. Output is always more expensive than input. How can I know how many tokens are going to be generated for a given input? Well, there are various sites out there that can help you with this. Here I'm on one such site and I'm giving it one of the prompts from our earlier tutorials. And it's telling me that that will result in 23 input tokens. Now let's take a look at the tokens for the output side or the code generation side. This is a Python code snippet that was generated by the LLM for the previous prompt. You can see that the output results in 56 tokens. I asked ChatGPT to calculate our cost for this input output sequence. Here's what it came up with. Then I ask it, given that sequence, how many times could we execute that before we reached a dollar? And this is what it said, 1100 times. Next, we'll take a look at the cost for Ader to generate the Java API tutorial. At the beginning, my anthropic balance was $11.88. Afterwards, $11.51 for a total cost of 37 cents for Ader to develop the Java API for us. Lines of code, we had Ader generate about 500 lines of code. Last, we'll take a look at the cost of Ader generating our Next.js task UI. We start off with a balance of $11.51, and we ended up with an anthropic balance of $11.01 for a total of 50 cents for Ader to generate that application. As far as lines of code goes, Ader generated just over 400 lines of code. So let's take a look at our totals for all three apps. For the RAG app, we spent 30 cents on Claude. For the Java API, we spent 37 cents. And for Next.js UI, we spent 50 cents for a grand total of $1.17 to develop all three apps with Ader and Claude. Okay, so we have some metrics that show us what we actually have spent on those three apps. How do we use this information to kind of project what we might spend in general? Now to draw any conclusions based on the data that we have from our tutorials, we're going to have to make some assumptions. So let's start with this. I'll assume that it took me two hours. That's probably about accurate to build all three apps. That's about 50 cents an hour for using Claude. I'm rounding down a few cents. That's all right. Let's assume that you can code six hours a day. Now, most of us don't code six hours a day, but we'll go with it. And assume that we code five days every week of the month. Now let's take the data that we have from our tutorial about our costs plus the assumptions that we made about how much we'll use these tools to kind of get a rough idea of what our costs might look like for a month. So we know our hourly cost was about 50 cents per hour for using Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and we assumed that we would code six hours per day. So that's six hours of Claude 3.5 usage each day. Now, if we take a look at the week, then we can use that data to figure out how much every week we will probably spend, right? 50 cents per hour times six hours per day times five days per week. And then finally, we can arrive at our total monthly cost. So if we calculate all of that together, we end up with about $60 per month. Again, I caution that these are very rough estimates based on some assumptions, and this will differ for you, but hopefully it gives you an idea. I hope you found the information in this video helpful to you in better understanding the cost of using Ader and Claude 3.5 Sonnet to develop apps. If you haven't already watched the tutorials that I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you may want to do that next. Seeing what we developed there and how we did it will help you better understand what the costs we presented in this video really mean to you. If you'd like to see more videos on this or similar topics, please let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe. I'm Tim Kitchens, coding the future with you, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.